Believe it or not, setting up a honeypot is quite simple, especially if you have a running instance of Kali Linux on hand. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. With a combination of Kali Linux and Pentbox, you can have a honeypot up and running in minutes. Let's get to work. Log into your Kali Linux machine as an admin user. Open a terminal window and download Pentbox with the command wget http colon slash slash downloads.sourceforge.net slash project slash pentbox 18 realized slash pentbox dash 1.8.tar.gz. Once that file is finished downloading, extract the archive with the command tar xvfz pentbox dash 1.8.tar.gz. This will create a new directory named pentbox-1-8. Change into that new directory with cd pentbox-1.8. The next step is to run the pentbox Ruby script with the command dot slash pentbox dot rb. From the menu, select 2 for networking tools, and then 3 for honeypot. In the next menu, select 1 for fast auto configuration. This will launch a honeypot listening on port 80. Open a web browser on another machine and point it to http colon slash slash server IP, where server IP is the IP address of your Kali machine. You should see an access denied error in the browser. Go back to the terminal window on the Kali Linux machine, and you should see the honeypot picked up the attempted connection. Now we want to launch a honeypot to listen on a specific port. Say you've had trouble with attacks on SSH. To deploy Pentbox such that it's listening in on port 22, you'd run the script and select 2 and then 3 followed by 2. When prompted for a port to open, type 22. You can then opt to save a log and then have a beep announce an intrusion. Once the honeypot is running, attempt to SSH into the Kali Linux machine from another machine, and you'll see Pentbox logs the instance.